Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add Hibernate to your Spring application. So in my application over here, it's a basic Spring MVC application. Uh, see my other videos if you want to know how I created this. So I have a simple uh, home.html and uh, a controller, home controller with only one method to render this home page and uh, Java based config, so no web XML or anything like that. So here is the root config, web init, and finally the web config. So here you have the template resolver, template engine, and finally the view resolver. So nothing fancy, all you have seen in my previous video. Now to add Hibernate, first let's add the dependency. So in this uh, we have WebMVC uh, for time leaf, this time leaf dependencies, and finally the JTVE for it's going to be provided by the container. And I have two plugins set up one is to compile this application in JDK 8, and another one is war plugin. I've set up this since uh, I have no web XML so, so that it doesn't fail when creating more if we are using a command line tool like MVN package or something like that. Okay, now let's add the database dependencies. So, yeah, these are the dependencies. So there are lots of dependencies here, uh, JDBC, ORM, uh, Java Connector, uh, Entity Manager, Validator, and Hikari CP. Uh, you're mostly going to be used these JDBC ORM Connector and Entity Manager. This is for validation and this is for connect, uh, connection polling uh, for MySQL request. Uh, okay, so you can use the Commons DBCP, but I use Hikari CP because it's much better. You can Google it for the reason why. Okay, next add the configuration. So let's add the database config. Add the configuration annotation. And add enable transaction so that its uh, transaction is handled by the spring. Okay, next add the methods so this is my hikari source uh, hikari data source that i have used in the palm xml that you have seen over here uh, let's import this classes being then yeah so this is the class name uh, i'm using the test uh, database uh, you don't need to provide this if you're using the default 3306 my server is localhost, you can put your IP, uh, my user is root and I have no password. So let's create this database. First connect to your MySQL database. Okay, show databases. So I already have the test database, so I'm not going to be creating. So as you can see, I have nothing in this database. So yeah, it's completely empty. So the database is test and port number, default, server, username, and password. Okay, next I need to set transaction manager and set up, uh, sorry session factory so here's the hibernate transaction manager let's support the classes uh, hibernate fives use the latest one okay I don't have uh, app context yet, so let's create that. Okay, so here I have app context and data source. What is it? 
Okay, I messed up with this import, so let's do it again. Let's add the application context first. Okay. And okay, finally, transaction manager. I run it five. Uh, I run it five. Okay. Now the data source. It's SQL data source. Okay. And util properties. So yeah, I uh, this is going to be uh, my uh, table in the database which I haven't created it yet. So let's add this. So this is going to be an entity class. add one constructor we don't need the getter setter for now uh, okay so next add the annotation proper annotation for this this it's going to be id yeah. this is going to be column and this is also going to be another column okay now let's add import the Pass over here, add the service. Next, add the service. Let's put it in the service package. And let's also, it's going to be an interface. And only one method insert user, which is going to be taking app user parameter okay now let's add the implementation okay so this is going to be implementing and use the service okay so let's put it uh, the annotation transaction also that is Spring manages it. And we need the session factory over here. Okay. Dot get current session dot save and save the user object now let's call this into another method from our home controller let's call it add user and it's going to be calling the service the service next let's call the app user services insert method new app user with id1 username and your password okay that should do it let's run this application and see what happens Okay, having, okay, I found the error. I didn't put the add service in the service implementation. So now, if I run this again, okay, this time 
it runs so far just fine. Okay, it's running. Uh, now let's go to the database. Add the database over here. Root and password is nothing. Okay, let's test the connection. Connection successful. Go to the schemas and select the test. Add the password, and if you go over here, you can see your app user table is created. Now, to insert information to this, all we need to do is call add user, and nothing shows. But if you go to the database and refresh, you see our information is over here. So, yeah, that's it, folks. This is how you add uh, the my sorry Hibernate to your Spring MVC application. I forgot to mention few think I believe so. Yeah, uh, you have your transaction manager. This one is going to manage your transaction, and this one is going to manage your uh, connection session uh, to your MySQL uh, database. Here you put set annotated class, so all classes that inside this bracket are going to be treated as database class and added to your database if you haven't created it already. So if you have another class like home controller, <laughs> that class, so you can add this and treat it as a database. Of course, this in this case, it's going to be an error, but you get the point. Mm. Finally, you select the dialect. So we are using MySQL, so definitely MySQL dialect and auto. So it's set to update and so what this does is if you don't have a mm, table created uh, as app user in your test database it will create it for you otherwise it's just going to update it and finally show sql query show sql is true so what it does is sh shows the query of what you have uh, ran in your console so yeah is there anything else to explain Okay, that's it for this video. If you haven't understood any part of this video, feel free to ask uh, your question in the comments below. Uh, if you have any other question, feel free to ask as well. Uh, okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.